very warm welcome to Science Monitor, your weekly update on what's happening in the field of science, technology, research and innovation in and around the country. I'm Tina Jha. From the achievements of Team Avishkar Hyperloop from IIT Madras to the recently launched brain-based intelligent test for the Indian population, we have plenty in store for you on this edition of Science Monitor. But as always, first up, the top stories of the week. Team Avishkar Hyperloop is raising hopes for Hyperloop transportation in India. The team from IIT Madras is participating in the ongoing European Hyperloop Week with its improved Hyperloop prototype. Brain stress mapping will reveal how COVID-19 affects the mental status of patients. Manasar-based National Brain Research Centre proposes a scheme in collaboration with Medanta Hospital Gurugram. Brain-based intelligence test launched to assess the cognitive abilities of the Indian population. Prepared in collaboration with IIT Kanpur, this first-of-its-kind indigenous test will be highly useful to educationists and clinicians. And we'll see how ARCI Hyderabad, an autonomous R&D centre of the Department of Science and Technology, Government of India, is developing cost-effective and efficient third-generation solar cells. Manesar-based National Brain Research Centre will soon begin brain stress mapping in COVID-19 survivors. Researchers from NBRC, in collaboration with Medanta Hospital Gurugram, will use non-invasive neuroimaging techniques to find the impact of the pandemic on the mental health of patients. This study will be useful in identifying the mechanism and implications of COVID-19 in the brain to devise an appropriate therapy for the same. More details in this report. The coronavirus pandemic has adversely affected life on a global scale. During the ongoing pandemic, many studies have revealed that the effect of COVID-19 is not limited to the respiratory system alone, as this infection has also increased neurological and neuropsychiatric disorders. This shows that the virus is potent enough to affect the central nervous system. It is also worrying to know that the hospitals usually take care of only the symptoms related to the respiratory system, and other physical aspects of the disease as psychological disorders are not easily recognized. This can have long-term effects on cognitive functions even after complete recovery from COVID-19. Keeping this in view, the National Brain Research Center at Manesar has proposed a scheme to monitor and map cognitive stress in COVID patients in association with Medanta Hospital. As part of this scheme, structural, spectroscopic and behavioral studies will be done in three different groups to identify the reason of factors of psychological illnesses caused by COVID-19. We have a solid, concrete research proposal with a Medanta hospital with three cohort groups where one group will be having no symptom, they never had a COVID. Second group will have a COVID, but they did not have a symptoms. Third group will be have a neurological and neuropsychiatric problem. So you have a sample size of 200, minimum 200 persons who scan at the National Brain Research Center and then monitor their brain and they are saying the defense mechanism was affected. Because if many people can say, I have this problem, our job is to identify the reason and then take a proper action for this so that men's cognitive health or mental health is protected after the COVID, when they have survived. According to studies, during COVID, there is above normal production of reactive oxygen species in the brain and a huge depletion in antioxidants, which further contributes to pathogenesis of several neurological diseases. 
a decrease in antioxidant defense trigger symptoms like confusion, lack of self-confidence and memory loss in patients who have recovered from COVID. This is especially true for people with low immunity and in elderly patients with nutritional deficiencies. Based on such studies, researchers are also stressing the continuation of nutritional supplements and exercise even after recovering from COVID-19 to strengthen antioxidant defense. What is happening, this virus is doing, it is increasing the reactive oxidative species radicals in the brain. Already by normal process, already radicals are generated, they have been taken care by antioxidant defense systems, mainly glutathione, they actually do this one. These radicals, this virus is actually increasing tenfold. So there is a overall huge shortage of antioxidant in the brain. And that's what many people's hippocampus will be affected. It is a very critical stage to tell the person that irregular exercise and multivitamins has to be taken. According to the researchers, their research papers related to the proposed longitudinal cohort studies have been accepted by reputed science journals and the studies will begin shortly to provide a scientific database. NBRC has also developed an online database system for brain disorders and research in the country. This online database can be used by psychologists, medical scientists and strategists around the world. The data obtained from the latest brain mapping study of COVID patients will also be made available globally.